Hey guys, James with TFB TV here at Red October. It's a lovely day to be at Red October. We're the guests of Rifle Dynamics. We're glad that they're having us. I love that sound, Mark. I mean, don't you it's just the love best. it? I mean, sound everybody freedom. is just cranking off 762 full auto all morning. We could hear it from the truck stop that we're standing across the street, <laughs> which is totally true. But I'm here with Mark. Mark's with KCI. Mark, plug the company. Tell us about KCI. Uh, KCI makes magazines. And uh, we're, we're in the uh, value business. We're trying to make the best magazine we can, but make it affordable. Sure. And make it available to all hardworking Americans. How much is a, uh, like a 762 AK mag from KCI? What's that gonna run me? Well, actually we're a, a wholesaler, so we don't sell retail. So the retailers set their own prices, it varies. Okay. But um, what kind of stuff do you make for the AK? Okay, we make 75 round drums, 40 rounders, 30, 10s, 20s. How are the 75 round drums performing? I mean, do those work well? Yeah, they, they, they work great. Finicky. And they're easy to load because they load from the back. Mother of God. Now, Mark, I saw that you had an RPK, which I was calling an RPD. So, you know, explain to me, you know, I, I was calling it an RPD. I was like, dude, this RPD is awesome. And you're like, no, James, you idiot. You're not an AK guy. Clearly, this is an RPK. Tell me the difference. Yeah. There, okay, really. so the, uh, the RPD is a belt-fed machine gun. It shoots the same round. Uh, it was real popular in Vietnam because the Vietnamese didn't want to have two calibers of ammo. So they had a belt-fed that shot the same round as the AK. But there were some issues with it, and the Russians decided to go to this design, the RPK, which is basically a longer barreled AK, heavier receiver, heavier barrel to stand up to full auto fire, but it still takes a magazine. Now, you actually have some real world experience with AKs and the RPK, right? Can we talk about yeah, that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I, I was a Green Beret. I started out at seventh group and uh, did uh, Just Cause in Panama, El Salvador. And I went to third group and did Desert Storm. Uh, I got out and went to 19th group and went to Afghanistan. So I've, I've seen these all over the place. And I'm not, I'm not a super AK guy, but I really respect the platform. And uh, this is my personal gun, and I love it. You ever see any of the uh, RPKs out in the wild and shoot oh, those yeah. whenever you were overseas? Oh, yes. How do they perform? They're really rugged and uh, never had a problem with one. In spite of the abuse and uh, neglect they suffered. Are you telling me that there are people overseas that are neglecting their firearms? I refuse to believe that. Yeah, I think so. If, if they are really uh, thorough, maybe they'll get some dirty crankcase oil and a boot lace, tie a knot in it, and that's how they clean it. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, make sure a uh, RPK full auto is uh, properly timed. We just had this gun go down, so I had to replace the... Uh, hammer in the sear because it turned into a full auto binary trigger. It's kind of scary. So right now I only have the uh, sear and the hammer in with the bolt. So what we are looking for is when you push it forward slowly uh, it engages the uh, it engages the auto sear and sends the hammer home just before it closes. And then the other thing you check is you want to slowly close the bolt. You watch the bolt rotate, and you want the bolt to stop rotating. Before the hammer comes forward, you want to make sure the bolt stops rotating. That makes sure you're in full lockup before you send it home and you don't get out of battery. So talk to me about your RPK here. What do we have? This is Daria. She's Romanian, born in 1984. She was uh, built by Lee Armory, and uh, this is full auto. It's got a uh, Russian... PK Optics, a red dot sight. Very, very happy with this setup here. This is a dealer sample. Okay, yeah, dealer yeah, sample. yeah, I was about to say, because, I mean, that's got to be, I don't even know if they're transferable RPKs, but. Oh, I'm, I'm sure there are, but they're going to cost you way north of, uh, you know, 20 grand. Sure. How long have you had this one? Uh, this is about a year old. Okay. Oh, so you just got it. Yeah. Have just... you owned any other full auto AKs? Uh, yeah, I've got a, a Russian underfolder, okay. which is also an 86 sample. How does firing the RPK, how does that stack up? to like just your conventional well, AK? Because the RPK is designed for full auto fire and it's heavier, it's a very stable platform. It's really easy to control, especially off the bipod. Sure, I, I just got to peel off an entire mag, a yeah. KCI mag, right? Yeah. Uh, full auto on y'all's range. 
and it, it's almost like it's counterbalanced. You've got like all this shit hanging off the front. Yeah. And it really like it, it made me look like a rock star. You know, if we were shooting maybe oh, like yeah. a regular, you know, there'd be some rust. It's set up with the with the stock so you can hang on to it for full auto fire. So this this is designed as a uh, a squad automatic weapon, and it really if you shoot off the bipod, very stable. And uh, they came with 75 round drums, so it was you know sustained fire. But it does get hot, and if you uh, if you dump a 75 round drum, it's you know you got to be really careful with it. Right. Yeah. Sure. Have you performed any modifications to this yourself, or is this how you got no, it? No, I uh, I'm pretty happy. The only thing I did was put the scope on. The original Romanian guns did not have the side mount. Mm -hmm. But this is just the best way to put an optic on. So that's my one compromise to modernity. But these guns work great the way they are. So the Romanian RPK, just you're using straight up irons, yep. or unless you rig some sort of other optic mounting solution, yes. like putting something on the gas. Yeah, in, in the 80s, the Romanians did not have any optics on these. I mean, I guess you're, you're kind of spraying and praying, but I'm curious. Uh, I'm sure that you've never fired this for accuracy. Uh -huh. But, I mean, do you have any idea about what kind of accuracy you can expect? It, it'll hold four minutes. Uh-huh. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that, oh, yeah. I find that surprising yeah. that, that it would work that well. Now, talk to me about this muzzle device. It almost looks like a Yankee Hill. It's got a couple of lugs on uh, there. I have a GSL suppressor that I run on this, and so that's the GSL adapter. It's the two-lug two, two lug Any adapter. issues with concentricity or baffle striking with it? No. Love the AK platform. It's getting a lot of attention. But, you know, all, a all AKs are not equal, so educate yourself because they can be dangerous with some of the, uh, you know, headspace issues and everything. But Red October is all about freedom and respect for the Russians, so Wolverines! <laughs> On that, perfect, Mark. That's a perfect way to end it, guys. Stay tuned. We're bringing you the same energy from Red October. We're going to be here the next couple of days. Keep watching.